Hey, what's going on? My name is Garen. Today is May of 2023. I'm currently three and a half months on testosterone. And I'm going to talk to you guys about the fastest way you can get started on HRT, known as hormone replacement therapy, in three easy steps. This is specifically for testosterone. Quick disclaimer, I am not sponsored by the company that I'm about to share. This is just my experience and what I felt was the fastest, most efficient way to get started on testosterone. Step number one, you gotta book your initial consult. I booked my initial consult through an online provider called Circle Medical. It was quick and easy, only 20 to 30 minute call to cover your general health, your family background health, the reason why you wanna get started on HRT, what is your goals, and then by the end of that call, if it's something you do wanna continue, you have to follow step number two, which is getting your blood work done. When you get your blood work done, keep in mind it can take up to seven days before that blood work is available to your provider. Follow step number three, which is your follow-up call. That follow-up call is going to consist of going over your blood work, your lab results to make sure you're in good general health before you get started on HRT. And by the end of that call, if things look good, your provider will usually prescribe your testosterone with no therapist letter needed. There are some key tips I want you guys to keep in mind. Number one, the cost of your prescription. You can use GoodRx, which is available to anyone in most states. It is free regardless if you have insurance or do not. I find it really helpful because that saves you a good amount of money. I'm in the state of Colorado and here it only costs about $15 for a month's supply of testosterone. Tip number two, there are different ways to administrate your testosterone. You can do the injections, which is two types of injections, through the fat or into the muscle. You got the pill form, you also have the cream. I personally decided to do the injections um, and doing it sub-Q, meaning through the fat. So it's a lot smaller needle than what you're gonna see when you go through the muscle. Tip number three, when you start your testosterone, don't be surprised, it's going to be a lower dose. This is for health and safety reasons to make sure you don't have any negative side effects to your hormone treatment uh, and moving forward as things progress and as long as it's something that works out for your journey and your plan, usually you will see that dosage increase by one month, then by two months and even by three months. So be patient with the dosage. Tip number four, to continue your HRT, even though you went through your initial consult, it is going to be required that you see that provider again at four weeks just so that way they know how you're doing, how your body's feeling, and then to also decide what you wanna do. Do you wanna continue? Do you wanna increase the dosage? Do you feel good about the increase? Or even decrease, right? It all varies. But that is a tip that you'll have to keep in mind because it will not be a forever prescription. It does get better because as you continue your treatment, especially after the first year, the duration of having to see your doctor does increase further and further. Tip number five, and this is one of the most important ones, it is your journey. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise. If you feel that this is for you, great, do it. If not, then don't. But there's also no commitment or obligation for you to have to continue even if you get started. So remember, it's your journey. Everyone's journey is unique. Keep it for you. If you have any questions, just leave a comment on the comment box and I'll be happy to answer them. See y'all, bye.